Did you know you can install your infant carrier without its base? There are two different ways to do this, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how and which method I prefer. Your infant car seat is gonna come in a box with both an infant base and the infant carrier. The thing is, the infant base is a convenience factor. So you typically would, if you're using an infant base, you would install it in your car. It would be there at the proper tightness, at the proper recline, and you would pop your carrier into it. However, for the majority of infant car seats, you do not have to use the base because like I said, it's a convenience factor. You can install the infant carriers on their own. There are two different ways to do that, so let's dive in. Some basics first. In order to correctly install your car seat in the vehicle, we've got to lock it in place. Because we're not using an infant base, which often come with lower anchor connectors, that's an option for installing, right? We're not using it, so we don't have that option. The majority of infant carriers do not have lower anchor connectors on them, and you have to use the vehicle seatbelt to install. This vehicle seatbelt has to be locked in order to tightly get this car seat into the vehicle seat. So let me just quickly show you how to do that so we're all on the same page. Any car that's manufactured after model year 1996 is gonna have a built-in way to lock the vehicle seatbelt. So most commonly you're gonna find this where you pull the vehicle seatbelt all the way out, all of it, and you're gonna do it slowly. And then you're gonna retract it back in can you hear that? That ratcheting noise? That means the seatbelt is now in locking mode. This mechanism is used specifically to install car seats into vehicle seats. So check your manual, your vehicle manual, if you have any questions about how to lock your vehicle seatbelts, but this is what you're gonna see most commonly. So for this seat, the next thing that I had to do was read the manual because I need to know the correct way to route this vehicle seat belt to attach this infant carrier to the vehicle seat. So I did that, I checked out the manual and as I said, it has what's called an American belt path routing. And so for this seat, let me show you how it's done. Now I like to get behind the car seat to do this because I can get a lot of leverage. I'll show you in a minute if that's not something that's possible for you, the other way that can make it easier. So here we go. You know what, I'm trying to keep my hair up and you know, you just know it's not gonna happen. So goodbye, goodbye hair. We tried, okay. I've already positioned this infant handle up. And the reason I did that was so I have a little bit more room here and I can show you how I'm gonna gain some momentum and leverage to tighten the vehicle seatbelt. Now with any infant seat, we care a ton about the recline position, right? Because that's how we make sure our infant's head is in the proper position to breathe. So you're gonna do kind of an initial fit of the recline indicator because once I use my body weight and tighten this vehicle seatbelt, the recline will probably shift a little bit, but get it sort of set where you think it's about right. One thing to note here, the baby is in the seat and buckled in because when you're getting ready to do this, the lap belt's gonna go directly over the legs of your child. So you're gonna wanna make sure that your baby is fully and tightly harnessed properly before you start this process. All right, let's grab the vehicle seatbelt. And there's these little belt guides here they are designed for you to route the lap belt portion of the vehicle seat belt. Buckle it in. And now the car seat is, you know, attached to the vehicle seat, but it certainly is not securely in place. So that's the next step. This is where my body comes in. I'm gonna use my body to kind of push into the back of the car seat a little bit so that I can really depress the seat into the vehicle seat and get some leverage. I'm gonna lock that vehicle seat belt, pull it out. I hear that retracting noise, so I know it's locked. Now I'm gonna sweat it up a little. <laughs> so you're gonna wanna grab, you're trying to tighten the lap belt as much as possible. So we're trying to pull that excess slack out from the lap belt. And you can see how I'm using my body. Now I'm already out of breath and I'm wiggling and I'm gonna hold that taut so I don't lose the work I just did. Feed it back into the retractor and let's give it a check. Remember to test for tightness. <laughs> that was graceful. 
Uh, remember the test for tightness. You're gonna use um, one of your hands near the belt path. This is very clear to see where the belt path is because the belt is literally routing right here. You're gonna give it a shake. It's still moving a little bit more than I would like it to. So I'm gonna hop in there and do it again. Just tighten things up, depress the seat in, pull, got about another inch. Now let's check it. There we go. All that slack is out. The car seat is now tightly installed in the vehicle. And my final step is to ensure that that recline line did not change. So of course it's on that side. <laughs> This is going to be pretty. <laughs> and all you have to do if you do need to shift the recline a little bit, just kind of wedge the seat. You know, just kind of kind of do some more shimmying. And you're good to go. After you've gotten the recline where it needs to be, triple check that your handle is in the correct position to ride. Infant handles have typically required positions. For this infant seat, it's in position one or position three. So this little kiddo is ready to go. Okay, I, I forgot to show you this part, which I promised you I would, which is if you can't get behind the car seat, that's all right. You can still use this installation method. So I like to like put my leg back here if I can. I'm pretty high up off the ground though, so it's quite a split. Let's do it this way. So I like to put my leg up here to do the same thing, get the leverage of pushing the car seat into the vehicle seat. Do our same routing, lap belt through the belt path, buckle it in. You're going to make sure that your recline is pretty close to right, but you know, same as before. We're going to check it at the end. I'm going to use my knee. I'm going to lock the vehicle seat belt. Switched modes. It's now in locking mode. And for this one, I'm probably going to use my hand a little bit to help me. Now my baby's in here. Okay. So I'm not going to like push down on my child, but I am going to push a little bit like kind of between their legs underneath their legs. And I'm going to pull. You can see that it's getting tight. Now you can also see the recline angle change. No, not to worry, we're gonna fix it. Let's see how we did on tightness. I'm gonna shift the recline angle back up. How are we looking over there? <laughs> Does it look good? I bet it needs a little more. Now I'm gonna test for tightness. Good to go. We just went through how to install your seat baseless with the American belt path routing. Now we're gonna talk about what's called European routing. And not to worry, you don't have to be in Europe to use this type of routing. I like this method better because the seat is more secure. What happens in this method is instead of just routing the lap belt here and up this way with the shoulder belt, the shoulder belt is actually gonna wrap around the entire seat. And what it does is it creates more security and stability for the seat. It's less likely to tip forward in the event of a crash. Now, if you're using the American belt path routing, the one that I just showed you, it passed crash test standards. It is still safe to do. If you know you're gonna be using your car seat baseless a lot of the time, maybe you're a city traveler, maybe you're in and out of public transportation, you're grabbing a taxi often, or you're an avid traveler, then please purchase an infant seat that has this European belt path routing because we're just gonna get it to be a bit more secure and I think you're gonna like it better. So let me show you how it's done. Place your infant carrier on your vehicle seat. Same as before, your baby is buckled in your seat when you do this. Think about if you're in the middle of New York City and you're hailing a cab, right? Your baby is ready to go, buckled in nice and tight because we also have to move a little bit quickly if we're on the side of the road hailing a cab. Get your seat in. You're gonna check for initial recline. For this seat, we're gonna be parallel with the ground for this blue line. You want your vehicle to be on flat ground when you check that. So we've got it about right. We're gonna do the final check after I'm done fully installing. I've moved the handle up here out of the way. For this car seat, actually, it's the required handle position for riding, so it works out. But if you have another car seat with European belt path routing, move your handle out of the way while you're doing the installation, and then you can put it in the riding position required when you're done. For this European belt path method, it starts the same way as the American method. Grab your vehicle seat belt, route the lap belt through the designated belt path and buckle the seat in. Now, instead of 
fully securing it here, right? This would be the American belt path routing if we had it here and here and tighten things up. Instead, for this, we are gonna pull this shoulder belt all the way around and it's gonna route through this section here in the back that's designated for the shoulder belt. It's a little tab that you'll slide the shoulder belt into and then your seat belt goes around. You're in there, but you certainly aren't tight. So now we've got to tighten things up. If the seatbelt didn't lock automatically when you pulled it out, so some don't have the length, right? And when you pull it all the way out, it's gonna lock right away. No problem. This one apparently is a long shoulder belt. So we're gonna pull it out, get it in locking mode. Now we've got to tighten things up. Push your body in. If you can get behind the seat, this is my favorite way to do it. It's also the fastest way. Use those hips, push, push things in. And our goal is to tighten up the lap belt as much as possible while removing the slack from the shoulder belt as well. So I like to pull down here, separating the lap belt from the shoulder belt. Give it a little wiggle. And then use your other hand up here by the shoulder side to pull it around so you don't lose that work you just did. Then we're gonna check the recline angle Make sure we're still parallel with flat ground. We're gonna do, I'll come down here. Oh yeah, look how tight that is. So nice and tightly installed. And like I said, this handle is in the proper position for riding. So this little kiddo is ready to go. I hope you found this video helpful and you feel complete confidence knowing how to install your infant carrier baseless, either using the European belt path routing method or the American one. If you did find this video helpful, please like, subscribe, join our Safe in the Seat community. And if you need more help with all things infant stage, check out our infant course.